Hi there! Thanks for watching the Manual Intersection Traffic Counter Toolbox video brought to you by the Ohio LTAP Center. The Manual Intersection Traffic Counter is part of our Technology Transfer Equipment Loan Program. How does the Equipment Loan Program work? Requests are accepted by phone, email, or online and are on a first-come, first-served basis. If the equipment is not available when your request is received, you will be added to a waitlist and notified when it becomes available. All equipment is available to local public agencies for a maximum of three weeks. If the agency wishes to continue use of the equipment, they will need to submit another request. Equipment will only be reissued for an additional three weeks if another agency is not on the waitlist. Pickup of the equipment is the responsibility of the requesting agencies. Items can be shipped so long as they are properly insured. The agency is responsible for maintaining proper care of the equipment and for properly packaging and shipping or delivering the equipment back to our office by its due date. All, all risk of loss is on the borrowing agency and damaged equipment must be repaired or replaced. The manual intersection traffic counter that Ohio LTAP has available is the MicroTally 18. The MicroTally is designed to allow manual counting and timing of events, traffic intersections, vehicle classifications, either in the field or in the comfort of your office from a video recording made at the scene. The MicroTally is a turning movement counter primarily used to manually count vehicles, pedestrians, and bicycle movements in intersections. However, the MicroTally is far more versatile than that. It can be used in nearly any tally or counting situation that you might have that matches the keypad layout. The layout has been optimized to simulate a street intersection to ease data entry. The unit was designed to minimize operator errors by not requiring any pre-study setups and a variety of subtle guides to ensure that the unit is counting and you are pressing the correct buttons. The MicroTally 18 features 18 tally keys, a run-stop slide switch, a button for beeper volume, an LED indicator for silent operation, and a standard DB9 connector for communications with a PC. When you request the Vehicles.com MicroTally 18 from the Ohio LTEP Center, you will receive the MicroTally machine and the download cable. Both must be returned together. How do you use the microtally? There is a slide switch labeled run and stop at the top of the microtally. This switch controls when the microtally is to be recording key presses. When the switch is in the run position, any press of any of the tally buttons or switches and it will be recorded. The microtally generates a beep on each key press. This lets you know that the key is being recorded. The beeps have different tones depending on the key location. The exception to this is when the unit is running in silent mode. The MicroTally 18 has two groups of keys. The first group is the intersection keys, the red, black, and blue keys. The second set of keys are the A and B keys in the upper right hand corner. The A and B keys can be used as simply extra tally keys or shift keys for counting other types of data such as pedestrians, bicycles, trucks, or U-turns. One of them could also be used as an undo key to remove the last key pressed in case you accidentally press the wrong key. The micro tally individually records all keys that are pressed and the time they were pressed. When recording, the micro tally gives the operator feedback in the form of audible beeps or a flashing LED light for silent mode for each key pressed. There are up to three different pitch beeps to indicate red keys, black keys, and blue keys, and a separate tone for the A and B keys. If you're doing a turn movement study, the keys in the intersection layout are color-coded red for straight through, black for turning left or right, and blue for pedestrians. Also, there are small raised bumps adjacent to the red keys on the intersection layout to aid in locating the buttons without having to look down. The timestamp feature gives the microtally tremendous flexibility in processing the data later. After your data has been downloaded into the WinTally software, these timestamps are converted into the appropriate counts and reports. For more detailed information about the microtally 18, please refer to the vehiclecounts.com microtally manual. A link will be provided in the description of this video. But how do you see or get to your data? Well, VehicleCounts.com offers free software for your convenience to download and utilize your data. 
The images used in this video and the manual are from the second most recent version, the 2.7.0.20 version. The latest version has added a simplified way to choose a start date and time for a file or download if the unit's time is incorrect before downloading, which is typically a sign of a low or almost dead battery. If this happens, please notify us immediately and upon returning it to Ohio LTAP. The latest version also fixes an issue using a video interval button across multiple studies. The following steps are for first time setup and resetting the microtally. Step 1 after you've downloaded the microtally software. Connect your microtally unit to your computer to download the data using the Ohio LTAP provided USB to DB9 cable. Make sure your unit is off, the slider switch is in the stop position. If the unit is in the run position, it will automatically be turned off when it is connected to your computer. Step 2. Once the WinTally software is loaded, simply click on the Scan for Unit button. A note, the software may automatically connect to your unit without having to press the Scan for Unit button. When the, con when the unit is connected, you will see the window change and you will then be able to see the model, firmware version, unit ID, serial number, and various other pieces of information. Step 3. Click on the reset button. Warning! This is very important to do each time before starting a new set of studies. This operation clears any data that may be in the unit and synchronizes the microtally's internal, internal clock to your PC. Step 4. Enter a unit ID by clicking on the Edit Unit ID button. This is optional and can be set whenever you want or need it. Step 5. Disconnect the serial cable from the microtally unit. Step 6. Turn the microtally on by moving the slide switch to run. You should hear an ascending sequence of tones indicating the start of the study. Caution! If the unit is in silent mode, the LED indicator will flash multiple times instead of beeping. Step 7. Press any of the tally buttons multiple times for first time setup. This is where you would perform your actual study. Step 8. Turn the unit off by moving the slide switch to stop. You will hear a descending sequence of tones indicating the end of the study. Step 9. Reconnect the cable to your microtally unit. Step 10. Click on the Scan Ports button in the Win Tally intro scene. You should see the microtally status screen appear. This screen. Step 11. Select Download Data. Step 11 continued. You will see a download status bar ending with a dialog box that allows you to assign key positions. These are the default positions that are pre-installed. You will see your data. Click on the Continue button. Step 11 continued. Here, you should now see a summary of the tally keys you pushed on the previous view. You have successfully captured your first study. You may close the dialog box by clicking on Close, and then you will be asked if you wish to save the data. The microtally unit can be used to record several count studies before downloading the data. To do more than one study, you'll need to keep track of the times or the order of locations so you can enter that information later when you download the data. Move this, moving the slide switch to run begins a study, and when you are done with the study, move the slide switch to stop. Then travel to your next study location. You then repeat the process to start and stop your study as indicated. The Win Tally software handles the separation of the studies automatically. You just have to enter the location. There is no limit to the number of studies a unit can hold, except of course the unit's memory size, which can hold roughly 2 million button presses of data. Note: If you forget to move the slide switch to stop at the end of the study, the unit will automatically stop a study after 4 minutes of no key press activity. A chirp will occur each 30 seconds until the slide switch is moved to stop. This automatic stop time can be changed to suit your collection method in our Win Tally software by clicking Change Timeout when the unit is connected.
Thank you for watching our manual intersection traffic counter toolbox video for the equipment loan program. For further questions or concerns about the equipment loan program, please contact Ray Brushart or the Ohio LTAP office.